Oh yeah. What's going on you guys? Today we're gonna to be out here playing with a brand new manufacturer, Stokely Discs. We have the Wren and the Cardinal here, putter and a mid-range respectively. These are gonna be made by Scott Stokely. If you guys don't know who Scott Stokely is, how are you watching my channel you don't know who Scott Stokely is? Go check his videos out. He's got great tutorials, forehand, backhand tutorials. Longevity in the game is what he's about. He's about not getting injury and he's been playing for a long time and he hasn't been hurting himself. So obviously he knows what he's talking about. So we're out here at 4-H Center. We're gonna play nine holes with these on my layout. You guys have seen my video on my layout. I appreciate you guys. If not, you guys are gonna see it here today. So one really awesome thing about these discs is I'm gonna be able to help come up with the flight numbers of these discs. I want you guys to leave in the comments what you think they fly like as well after watching me throw them a little bit. According to Scott, these are supposed to be a nice straight flying disc with a little bit of a dependable fade to it. Both the Cardinal and the Wren are supposed to be like that. So I brought a couple of buzzes to compare the Cardinal with, and I brought an alpaca to compare the uh, the Wren with. I'll put up a side-by-side -side picture of these things. The Cardinal is pretty close to the buzz. It's definitely got a lot more dome to it, but it has a nice little like buzz style rim. Pretty familiar feel in the hand. And then the Wren here is just a nice beadless putter. Should be pretty stable on the putts. So I know I said we're gonna play my layout, but I'm just gonna throw it to the normal hole ones basket here because I'm not gonna make it to that far basket out there. So here we go, we're going Cardinal right now. We got a little tailwind, tiny bit. Ooh. Okay, I might've thrown that on a little bit of hyzer, but it came out uh, pretty, pretty overstable. Might've been the tailwind. Okay, we're gonna throw a buzz too, just to see how that compares. See that buzz had a good, good bit more push than the Cardinal did. Not, not nearly as overstable. So, oh, we're gonna have to get that some more throws. Okay, Cardinal ended up a bit short on this hole, but kind of didn't expect the stability of it. So now that I know what it kind of flies like, we'll get an idea. But we're gonna throw the Wren for an upshot. Or in. Woo, went over it a little bit. All right, we're gonna see how the Wren putts now. That Wren seemed pretty glidey on that upshot, I will say. Faded out a bit over the basket. Maybe I've given it a little bit of juice. We're gonna see if we can't make a 25 footer. Hmm, moving on, we have hole two. Straight through this tunnel of trees, right over typical hole two's tee pad, and it's about 275. So we're gonna go to the Cardinal again. See if I can't throw it flatter this time. A, a little flatter but man that thing's kind of a kind of a beefcake i'm not gonna lie i mean maybe not for scott stokely but for me that thing's beefy got a little backhand hyzer in or a nice little forehand i think i'm gonna try the, the upshot with this cardinal on a forehand what the okay yeah no we're gonna backhand the rent up there hmm Interesting. These discs are kind of weird. Huh. Okay, the Cardinal's a good putter. All right, we got the par either way, so. Man, that was weird. All right, we got to figure these things out. I, you know, I don't really like a buzz feel, honestly. I'm not the biggest fan of a buzz style disc, rock style disc. I'm just not a big fan of those chunky feeling mid ranges. Okay, hole three, straight through this tunnel like once again, but I think I'm gonna go wide route. Okay, man, hit the trees. Not doing so hot with these discs right now. Maybe I should be playing from the short layout because uh, this Cardinal is a little beefy, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna throw the rain up there again, try it on another backhand approach. Slide, should be a nice easy par. All right, we're gonna play from the standard hole four here because I want to throw this Wren off the tee a couple times. I'm just not throwing that Cardinal very well. It's pretty beefy for me. I would not give that to a brand new player and be like, here's a good mid-range for you. That is pretty overstable for a beginner's mid-range. I'm not saying that it was marketed to be a beginner's mid-range, but it was marketed to be a straight flying mid-range with a hard fade, but I don't see the straight flying part. I just see the instant fade out the hand. So I want to throw this Wren off the tee and see how it does. 
Okay. Now that's a throwable disc right there. That is a laser beam putter. And I really like that. I really like that flight. Got a little, little 30 footer on the wonky basket. See if you can't ring it up. Not at all. Oh man, I've been throwing these really bad. Moving on, we're gonna play standard hole five right here. Uh, it's just behind that tree, it's about 190 feet. Typically I'd throw like a forehand zone or like a yarn or something slightly overstable up there. So we're gonna see how this compares. Look at that, dude, that thing is beefy. Wow, we've got a putt. Did not mean to, I meant to go to the left of the tree and it would've been really parked, but still not a bad shot. All right, let's see if we can't get a birdie. This putter, I will say, feels like a, it kind of putts like a brick. I'm not gonna lie. I need a putter with a lot of glide and uh, this thing doesn't have it. Finally, I made a good putt. Turning around. We're not gonna reach this next hole. Not even close. All right. I kind of have an idea of what I want to give the flight numbers of this Cardinal. Not so much the rain just yet. I haven't thrown it enough, but this Cardinal, I've got an idea of what flight numbers this thing is. All right, we're not going to get it on this next hole either. 320 feet out there, something like that. It plays slightly uphill. I'm not going to get this Cardinal there. This thing is quite beefy, pretty overstable mid-range. Maybe Scott Stokely can get this thing to go straight with a nice little fade and, you know, be like a straight flying mid-range. But for me, on my slight Anheuser or my slight hyzer release, it doesn't go very far. So we're going to try to put this out there on some Anheuser this time, give it some flex and see how stable she really is. Look at that thing, dude. That thing fights out so quick and just dumps left. Man, that thing, I, I mean, I, I don't even think it's like 275. That's just, that's max distance I can go with that thing. Let's try a uh, X Swirl Buzz up there. See what, that, see what that would do. That ain't coming out. Wow. They feel just that, I mean, they feel the same, but they fly completely different. Okay, we got a little second tree action. See if we can't uh, maybe do a little stagger jump step putt. Oh, it went far. All right. Should be an easy par though. It wasn't, it wasn't a bad bid. Moving on, hole seven. Got about 230. Just in between those trees down there, we're gonna throw the wren off the tee and uh, see how it flies. Ooh, ooh, I like that flight a lot from that putter. I love a dead straight putter. This is my one of my favorite discs. Forehand the Cardinal down there too, just for fun. Yeah, it's way too beefy. I can't handle the, the beef on that. Too beefy for me. All right, we're gonna use the pizza sack as a marker and uh, see if we can't get this birdie. Ching. It went in. Did you hear it? <laughs> so far, I'm really liking the Wren. Nice feeling plastic. I really like this putter plastic. It's not stiff. It's not too stiff. It's not too gummy. It's kind of like that right in the middle. Really nice and tacky feel. Feels really good. Cardinal, on the other hand, I don't know. I'm just not vibing with it. Maybe I just need to get it out of my head that it's a straight flying disc and uh, just start cranking it because yeah, I just not trusting it. We're gonna throw. We're gonna throw it out there. This time we got a little bit of a headwind. Short hole. So hopefully it's got some, keeps that beef to it. Look at that thing just dives. Oh wow, and it's parked. Perfect for these kind of hike, just spike hyzer shots. Like that thing absolutely just dumped. You can say four. Okay, my ankles almost got taken out by a disc, but we're right here. It's super easy to happen. Just say heads up next time guys if you're throwing a disc out here and it even comes close to hitting somebody or it's or it looks like it's flying towards them just say four just say it come on now sorry it got me a little a little heated there we're gonna go cardinal off of this one about 150 feet so beefy oh wow i think it actually fell out on the other side of the tree sweet let's do a little turnover with the rent too since it's the last hole and then uh i'll give you guys what i think the flight numbers are Didn't give it any Anheuser. Nice and straight though. And I go 
You know, you could say four and they go, yeah. Well, why don't you say it, brother? Dang. Come on now. Let's be safe out here, guys. Shoo. Oh, squeaked it in. Let's go. All right, guys. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think these fly like. Did you guys have a different experience with the Cardinal? Was y'all's more straight? I'm going to go home and watch some reviews, see what other people's are flying like. For this disc, the Cardinal, I would probably give it a 5402. Pretty stable. Doesn't have a lot of glide. Doesn't have a lot of turn. Just nice and dumpy. And now that I know that, I'll probably play a lot better with this now that I know what I think the flight numbers are. And then the Wren is just a nice point and shoot putter i'd give it about a two to three speed obviously probably about a three to four glide and i would say like a zero zero maybe a 0 0.5 going on like mvp's little scale so that's going to wrap it up for us hope you guys enjoyed we'll see you next time peace guys i want to go over one more thing quick little safety thing if you're out here playing or any course playing with there's pedestrians and walking walkers make sure you're really careful don't throw when there's people in the fairway don't throw when there's people walking let them go first okay if you hit another disc golfer it's not the end of the world they're probably not going to go out of their way to get the park shut down but if you hit a walker they're going to be pissed they're going to go out of their way to get this place shut down so just be, re be really safe guys don't hit anybody especially not a walker so yeah, that's all I got to say. We're going to see you next time.